Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm taking a look at the simply titled Hokuto no Ken on the PlayStation. This game was developed and published by Banpresto and released in 1995. It features an original story for a change, or at least original for the series, it's still really cliched, and it features gameplay that's very similar to games like Yu Yu Hakusho on the Super Famicom, and Battle Heat on the PCFX, and in addition to the PS1 release, it's also available on the Sega Saturn. The story in this game takes place sometime after the end of the manga series, and starts as they often do, with a kidnapping. Lin and Bat, now adults, are getting married, when suddenly a group of motorcycle riding badasses show up from the wasteland to ruin the ceremony and run off with Lin. At this point, there's really only one thing to do, call in the ultra-manly Kinshiro to kill off all of the bad guys and rescue the girl. Though this is its own self-contained story and separate from the manga series, it more or less repeats a lot of the major plot points from the manga, including introducing characters that are pretty much carbon copies of past characters, as well as reusing the there's another comparable martial art out there story arc. Also, while I'm on the subject, this game apparently assumes that you're more interested in the story than the gameplay, because there are a lot of very long and unskippable cutscenes all throughout the story mode. Like I said, gameplay-wise, Hokuto no Ken is very similar to games like Battle Heat. It's essentially a strategy fighting game. You pick a series of maneuvers that you want to perform each turn, and then watch how your choices play out as the two characters do battle. There are a whole series of bars on the lower half of the screen representing your health, battle power, and energy located down at the bottom, which you'll need to perform attacks. How much energy you use is dictated by how powerful of an attack you use, and the only way to recoup your energy is to successfully defend against attacks and use as little energy as possible for however many turns is needed. So to do well, you'll need to use an appropriate amount of offensive and defensive moves. Once you've chosen your sequence of moves, you can start mashing the square button to build up your battle power, which increases the effect of your maneuvers. Obviously enough, the winner is the person who drains his opponent's energy first. There are only two gameplay modes in Hokuto no Ken, Story Mode and Versus Mode. In the Story Mode, you'll only be playing as Kenshiro and going through a ton of henchmen in each chapter before getting to the boss character. It's actually quite a long Story Mode, mostly due to the cutscenes, and shockingly enough, you can't save your progress, but instead you have to remember a series of passwords, which is kind of lame. The versus mode isn't even accessible unless you have the appropriate password, and there are 10 playable characters. If you don't have a human opponent to play against, then you can just play against the CPU. The best part of this mode is just getting to play as characters other than Kenshiro. Overall, the gameplay in Hokuto no Ken isn't terribly exciting. It is visually interesting though, but I don't think it'll hold the average person's attention for too long. Unless, of course, you're a die-hard fan of the series. Speaking of the visuals, this game is kind of a mixed bag. The animations during combat look pretty good, though not exactly what I would call seamless. There's a lot of awkward pauses between moves, but the special techniques by and large do look cool. The cutscene animation is pretty crappy, though it's not actually fully animated. It looks more like something you'd see in a later PC Engine or a Sega CD game, actually. But it's still Hokuto no Ken, so it's not all bad. The sound design is kind of minimal, not very much music in the game, but what is here isn't bad, and there's a lot of voice acting from the cast of the classic TV series, plus all the familiar sound effects from the show as well. 
So as a fan, I can appreciate the look and sound of this game, but still admit that it's nothing terribly impressive. Would I recommend this game? Well, that really depends on if you're a fan of the series. Like I said, it's not a terribly exciting game to play, so the average gamer would likely lose interest pretty quickly. But a die-hard Hokuto no Ken fan will likely want to play through the story mode in its entirety, if for no other reason than to watch how events play out. It's not the worst game in the series, and it's certainly not the best, but there is some enjoyment to be had here. So it's really up to you. Copies can be found online, usually for around 40 bucks, so if you just have to have everything Fist of the North Star, I say go for it. まだまだ。これからよ。いや。お。女だと思って。甘く見たのが不運だったわね。<音声>